morning guys starting to vlog with wet hair it is half nine on a monday and i'm just drip drying um to start this one by saying sorry for not having vlogged last week i'll put youtube up last week i was just having a bit of a bad week and i think i've mentioned before in passing that i'm like keep having up and down moments and last week i just really needed to free up some headspace and not uploading on YouTube seemed like the easiest way to do that and it did work so I'm really sorry for that random absence from last week I'm going to be back at it normally now I am like a bit stuck with what to do with YouTube at the moment which is an almost constant feeling for me I have no creative ideas for it really or the ones that I do have I'm not excited about or don't know if they're just a bit meh so I'm feeling a bit meh about YouTube so for now I'm just going to vlog and do the usual kind of videos I'm going to film a revisiting my whole video today. Um, testing basics, I'm just waiting for the sales to kind of finish. And because we're in the midst of a heat wave and it's all the autumn winter stuff coming through, it's a bit, I'm a bit stuck at the moment. So I might do something like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Something that's a real staple piece for shops that isn't just really, really seasonal. So I'm going to give that some thought. But yeah, I just want to start this by apologising for not vlogging last week. Um, this week's a nice week. I'm in London all this week. I'm working at home, um, meetings and stuff like that. So it should be a really nice week. And I also have an incredibly exciting announcement, which I'll put at the beginning of the vlog, rather than make you wait until the end of the vlog if it's been in the title. Um, and that is that I am moving in about six weeks. So I'm staying in London, I'm staying in the Notting Hill area. Um, and I'll, obviously I absolutely adore this flat. And I still, still love, 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 love this flat. Um, and this perhaps might sound a tad high maintenance, but I really need some extra space um, just for my own productivity and for being able to take work a bit further because obviously I work at my desk here and then look over into my living room um, and I have no switch off between work and life. So like, when I'm sat on the sofa, I'm looking over at my desk and I, as soon as I wake up, my desk is here. And, my room is just overflowing with clothes because that huge rail and there's just nothing but clothes in that room um, and aside from this main living room all the other rooms are quite small like the, like the bedroom which means it just always feels like an overwhelming mess and because all the mess is work related sometimes I feel really like oh about it and I realise that this is very much first world problems I'm talking about here um, so I wanted something with two bedrooms that I could have an office and that hopefully it would make me be more productive have better ideas, be able to push things forward a bit and also improve my own work-life balance and that I can shut work away and then I would have a living room that would just be to live in. Um, so moving vlogs will be starting very, very soon. Lots of furniture plans, well not lots of furniture plans actually, all of the furniture in this flat apart from the sofa is mine and obviously I've invested in furniture like my um, coffee table and my chairs. So, so much of it I really love and the reason I spent so much money on those things was so they were not just going to be something that I had here and didn't take on to a new place. So I have a lot of furniture already. I need to get a new sofa, I need to get a desk and things for an office. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be moving in about six weeks. So moving vlogs will commence. I promise to vlog the whole, whole thing. I'm really, really, really excited. I'm really excited to show you guys the place. Of course, I'll do like an empty house tour when I'm in there and then show you it as it's all filling up. Um, and I love watching moving vlogs. So I hope you're all excited too. I'm really, really excited. It's going to be a busy, busy time, um, but it will be so worth it. And Lindsay and I went to look for, I'm living on my own still, but I took Lindsay to see the new flat um, last week and she was like, yes, this is so good. This is just, it's just so much bigger. Um, and I'm really, really excited about it. And it still kind of has the same vibe as here. Lots of similar features as what this one has, which is why I love this one so much. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. And let me know, obviously I'll vlog the whole thing and I'll probably do a video dedicated to this flat once it's empty. But let me know if you wanted me to talk. Obviously I've lived in London. It will be a year on Wednesday. I've lived on my own for a year. So do let me know if there's any specific topics you want me to talk about around that. I have done a quick Q&A on it before, but this, as it's all coming up to a year and obviously I'm moving on, this seems like a really good time to maybe do some videos around that, living on your own or living in London or home work or whatever. Let me know if you would like to see anything around those or if you'd rather than do blog posts or whatever you would like to see basically. So yeah, I've just spoken for nearly five minutes solid. So I'm gonna stop speaking now and drink my coffee, go through my emails, um, but yeah, that was an apology and then hopefully made up by the exciting news. 
Good morning guys. I'm just hot footing into town, into the gym this morning. Nick proud to see Lindsay because it's her birthday today. So I went round there to drop off some flowers and a card. Now I'm just flying into town to meet Dean to go shopping for an hour. So I need to get some bits and bobs. I'm going to Copenhagen next week for fashion week. And I'm, um, despite how ridiculous it sounds, having an oh my gosh I have nothing to wear moment. So I just thought I'd have an hour, literally only have an hour free, round the shops. Um, and then I'm shooting this afternoon with Tom. Just a mad busy day, it's going to be a late working one. But feeling in the zone for it, which is good. I'm literally walking as fast as I could possibly walk right now as well. It's cooled down a little bit in London. I've got jeans on, which I'm enjoying. I've just throwing this outfit together, but I'll show you it properly. When I get back in, and when I'm not so out of breath from walking so fast. Swept up on shopping. Oh. Are we? Huh? I'm vlogging you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying you've already swept up on the shopping. Cheat it out, yeah. <laughs> You're up north, I would be, but... Just ask Dean if he's embarrassed when I walk along and film stuff. Maybe Ed a little bit Just more likely. Just going to get a coffee. No, I got some stuff from Urban yeah. Outfitters. Yeah. Dean got yeah. half a new flow and some... Pork <laughs> juice. It's got um, the Adidas fresh with a pH. With a pH, fresh. This is the outfit I wore. Just got back in, feeling a bit sweaty. Um, just my weekday tank top, Reliqua necklace. Weekday long jeans and my dear Francis slides is so comfortable wearing them so much. It's a right tip in here, so cleaning montage later. I'm shooting now, Tom's just on his way over, so it's gonna get even messier post-shooting. So I just quickly need to make myself a little bit more presentable than this. Nobody wants this in a blog post. The t-shirt that I bought from Urban today. So pleased it's a men's small. I've just been shooting this look. So you shall see it on the blog. Oh my god, I just run up those stairs. I'm gonna quickly film, I've been shooting now. I'll just drop the film off, so. I'm gonna quickly film a video before I get too settled. And then go out and pick up the negatives so I can scan them, get something for dinner. And I'm having a long working evening, with lots to get through. So chuffed with this t-shirt though. I intended to show you what I had for dinner, but I just sat down and ate it super fast. Um, what I made was a roasted sweet potato, half of one, with some cherry tomatoes, black beans, chorizo and avocado. It was very nice. Now, oh, excuse me, that was gross. Just finished editing a video. Focus on me. Mm, one sec, one sec. Sweaty, it's lovely. Um, just finished editing a video and I'm just writing a blog post for tomorrow. Um, sorry, someone just texted me. And yeah, it's quarter past eight. I've got loads to do, the flats are tip kitchen needs sorting so I might fit cleaning montage in um, and God, I'm so sweaty. and that's that I feel like my head's like right now but in a good way got the film picked a film up that I shot today with Tom I'm not going to scan it today because it's not urgent that's going to be tomorrow's job had a very exciting box through from Verve Clico which I'm going to open tomorrow as well I'm going to Wilderness for them this weekend so I'm going to see what's in there but I'm going to make myself wait until tomorrow um, just because I need to be focused on work for this evening and I'm all over the place all of the time. I'm waiting for Katie to call me. Katie Fitzpatrick, you're the hardest person to get on the phone. I have to like book her in for a phone call. Um, but yes, that's everything for now. I'll be back. Are the trees are you now, baby? Leave it so high, your feet won't touch the ground. Would you look at Everything gonna be alright Yeah Promise everything gonna be alright Trust Everything gonna be alright Ooh Got altitude, no storm clouds So everything gonna be alright, baby Baby Been telling you for the longest time Kissing on the sun, I ain't do it like that, babe Night so bright, I ain't do it like that, babe yeah. I ain't kiss you yet I ain't kiss you, 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 you Everything I do I'll be wishing you, 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 you Backslide, backslide 
Kill your baseline, baseline, babe. Oh, I wanna know, wanna know, yeah. Gonna show, wanna show you, oh, babe. Everything gon' be alright. Is the breeze strong enough? Tomorrow seems so bright, yeah, yeah. Don't look down, we're still up. Something like the thrill of dancing on the sun. Susan, how you doing? Really hard test today. Is she? Really quick. Oh. Normal, she takes ages to apply. Right, I'm not taking that to lunch. Do I need, I need to change my shorts because I've got snail on the <laughs> Oh, you squished a snail, you can't see it at all. Do you not think? No, it's fine. Be... I'd just wear them. I'm not my best self today, Elizabeth. You are. You're on form today. Right. What do you want to... Oh, can't... I've asked you about six times where you want to go for lunch, but... <coughs> where do you want to go for lunch? <coughs> you can eat chat, choose. Yeah, what sort of things do you fancy, though? Because I'm not that hungry. I am hungry. Well, I'll eat, but if you're starving, well, if you've got some... Day room. Day room, let's go there, it's nice and then, there. Shall I get a car from No, it's quick and quick here, aren't I? Yeah, you're more much of a muchness. It's just down the road. Right, I'll leave all my stuff here, we'll go to day room. Nice. And come back. back. Yeah, like right, plan. Babe, yeah. I ain't kiss you yet. I ain't kiss you, 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 you. Everything I do. I'll be wishing you, 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 you. Backslide, backslide. You're your baseline, baseline, babe. Oh, I wanna know, wanna know, yeah. Gonna show, gonna show you, oh, babe. Everything gonna be alright. Is the breeze strong enough? To hold on tight yeah. While we Stevie wander through the night Now tomorrow seems so bright Yeah, yeah Don't look down, we're still up Something like the thrill of dancing on the sun Evening, guys That little clip you just saw is me going for a walk around Hond Park Which is where I'm moving to Yeah, I'm going to walk around I've sort of been, went out for lunch with Linz, but I've been in the house all day today working and there's still more I could do. There's always more you can do. Anyone who freelance will work myself. They only work, she has to be self-employed. <laughs> knows that. But I thought, you know what? It's starting to feel restless. So I thought I'd go for a really nice walk. Holland Park, the actual park, is so not what I expected. It was like huge and had so much, so many different things in it, it really wasn't what I expected. So that was very, very lovely. Just picked myself up something for dinner. I'm just going to have sweet potato with some fish and some broccoli. Healthy, healthy, because I've not been that healthy recently and haven't been working out nearly enough. The heat, I know it's a crap excuse and people who live in hot climates don't know how you do it. But it's so hard to motivate myself to go to the gym when it's this hot. So I've only been going when it's to see my personal trainer. I've not been doing anything off my own back, which is naughty. Um, but yes, that's that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make myself some dinner and then sit with my laptop in front of the television, and do a bit of mindless work, probably nothing too heavy. Um, but yeah, today is the year, one year today since I moved to London. I was talking to her about it on the phone earlier, saying how crazy it is, like how quick it's gone but also oh is that my phone oh i'm sleeping it's just dean hello sorry about that guys i just ended up on the phone for ages and then laura rang me and she's not far so she's just nipping around for a drink which is a very nice and prompt you evening anyway dinner's all in the oven now 
Um, what's it say? Yeah, it's been a year today since I moved to London. So I was having a bit of a oh my god moment. I wrote a big blog post about it last night, so when I was writing the blog post, I had another oh my god moment. But I had one more, unfortunately. You know what? Let's go out for a walk and not sit and fester in the oh my god moment. Um, and go and keep your mind busy. And now it's turned into a very busy evening, so I've just been on the phone and now someone's coming around. So that's very, very good. Right. Um, yeah, I've just made my dinner. Flat's a bit of a tip, I'll do a quick whiz round. Um, and then we shall see Laura in a second. Does anyone else struggle with these kind of the caps? I feel like, even though I'm a grown up, they just defy me every single time. Giving up on it, giving up on it. <laughs> I'm focus now. Um, and more just, yeah, like creative stuff, but then it doesn't really show a different side to what an Instagram page shows. I'm just sort of thinking out loud here because I was just thinking, God, I've not posted anything on Instagram stories today. And I always use it to promote my blog posts and stuff. And I was thinking, like, oh, I really need to get better at it, way better at it. Um, but I just, it'd be interesting to know how you guys, like, do you turn the sound on? Do you like it when people are talking? Um, do you like it when people, I like it when like, something funny is happening, me and Linda are away, I like sharing stuff like that. Um, and just the little silly bits that I film through the days, but I don't know. It's not really the end of the world, is it? How I feel about Instagram stories. I think I found a sofa I really like as well <laughs> for my new flat, but it's going to take a while to come and I'm not sure if it's going to be too big because it's a three-seater one, but it's got really wide arms. It's also more than I wanted to spend. I'm really struggling with the sofa because I am... Um, like things like my chairs, this sofa isn't mine, this is the landlord's. And I really, really, really like the sofa and I really want a light coloured linen sofa. Um, and things like my coffee table and my chairs were both things that I saw and was like, oh my God, I love and I've loved those chairs for years and years. Whereas there's no sofa where I feel that way about it, but there's loads that I really don't like. Like, I'm just really struggling with the sofa. First world problem, but I need to get on it because of how long they take to be made. So really I need to try and order it this week. But I think I've found one I like, but I don't know. I'm hoping to be able to find like an X display one. Because I'm not that good at looking after stuff really. So I don't I don't mind getting a bit of a deal and it being X display and other people having sat on it. Because I'm probably gonna spill a cup of tea on something within the next week of owning it, if I'm honest. So yeah, that, that was this the thoughts and musings for now. Why is my nose so red? It's always so red. Just wait for Laura to get here. I'm gonna have one drink, and then I need to have an early night because Katie um, is one of her clients at work. Is Cycle the the um, spin studio, and she's been nagging the life out of me to go. And I was said I'm not doing spin fits. Like I hate it. I always call Katie Fitz because her last name's Fitzpatrick. Said Fitz, I'm not doing spin, but they do bar the one in Shoreditch. So she's making me go to Shoreditch for eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Dreading it, I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna have to leave her about quarter past seven. Get up at quarter, get up at quarter to seven is what I'm gonna do. No makeup and head over there um, and do a class. And she was like, it's really hard as well. I was like, oh, you're selling this to me, Fitz. Cheers. So that's tomorrow morning. So I'm not having a late one tonight. So I've got to get up for that tomorrow. Anyway, enough chatting. And bye to the camera so everyone believes that I saw you because I told everyone you were coming and then I didn't <laughs> vlog you. She's here, I promise. I'm here. With the evidence of a takeaway. It was very good. Very, very, very good. Oh, 7 a.m. I'm ready to set off to go to cycle with Katie. All the way in flipping Shoreditch. <sighs> I talk to you again. Is it hard? No, it killed us, isn't it? Yeah. We're not quite very orange to me, this camera. It's got a lot of hard bugs. <laughs> yeah, I do. So we're just waiting for a smoothie now. But it was good, but it was really hard. Seeing you for dinner later, aren't I? Yeah. A double fit day. Fit sandwich. This is it. Cycle. Smell like, like that because they're so edgy. Yes, why? Excuse my wet fringe, but how lovely is this Andon Story's pink dress? He sent me it and got here yesterday. 
I'm wearing it today and I absolutely love it. Obviously it needs an ironing and obviously I'm not going to bother with that. But it fits really, really, really nice and I love the print and everything. So I'm just going to wear this today with some trainers probably or just some slides or something simple. But I thought I'd show you the dress because I very, very, very much like the dress. Hello guys, I'm just going to end this vlog here. I've just edited through it and it's pretty, pretty, pretty long. Um, and I want to get this edited before I go to Wilderness Festival this weekend so it's ready for Sunday. Um, but thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Really excited for all the moving things to start. Um, it will kind of be in the next few weeks I'll start getting really busy with it basically. So I'm gonna keep on top of vlogging, keep sharing everything. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.